Hey, what's up YouTube? It's ICU. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak iOS 12.4, the latest public firmware as of recording this video without the need of a computer on A7 through A11 devices. That includes everything from the iPhone 5S up until the iPhone 10. Unfortunately, if you have an iPhone 10S, 10S Max, or a 10R, you will not be able to jailbreak yet. Definitely check down below in the description for our jailbreak status checker page for A12 devices that will be updated the very second and new utilities released. So bookmark it and check back regularly to see if a tool has been pushed or if this version of Uncover has been updated to include support for iOS 12.4 on A12 devices. Now with that said, let's go ahead and get straight into this. There is one caveat. You do actually have to be on 12.4. So this is not iOS 12 through 12.4 support. This is just added 12.4 support. So if you're on iOS 12.3 or 12.3.1, you will actually have to restore to iOS 12.4. So you will need access to a computer to do that. But for everything else, this is actually an on-device jailbreak. If you don't have a computer, you can borrow a friend's PC or Mac. All you have to do is just plug into it, open up iTunes, backup, restore, then restore from your backup. If you don't have iTunes and you're on Windows, just go to itunes.com and you can download it that way. All right, so let's get into this. There are only three steps. There is a prerequisite though, in addition to that caveat before we get into said three steps. First of all, if you do have an OTA update downloaded on your device, you're going to have to delete it. Now, this is almost irrelevant right now just because iOS 12.4 is the latest public firmware right now, but that's going to change. It's not a matter of if, it's just a matter of when. Apple will patch this, most likely with iOS 12.4.1. So if you're on 12.4, you're watching this at a later date, you're going to have to delete any OTA updates your device may have downloaded. Also, if you do have the iOS 13 beta profile installed, and you just haven't updated to iOS 13, you might actually have an OTA update as well. Now this is important because when Apple actually stops signing iOS 12.4, if you're running it, but you've downloaded an OTA update and you try to actually do this, it will brick your device, forcing you to restore to what will essentially be an unjailbreakable firmware. And you don't want that. So you're going to go inside of the settings application. You're going to scroll down to general, and then you're going to go to iPhone storage, or it'll be iPod storage or iPad storage based on what you have. And then you should see the update right here. It has a little settings gear over on the left for the icon, and it will say whichever iOS version it is. Of course, if you're watching this in the future, it will most likely be iOS 12.4.1. Now, with that said, I'm going to show you guys that we are, in fact, on iOS 12.4, and we're going to proceed with this tutorial. So, we're running iOS 12.4 for the software version right there. You can see that the settings app does, in fact, confirm that. Now, you're just going to go to our tutorial page which is also our download page. It's linked down below in the description as well as in your cards right now. And you're just going to scroll down essentially to the first step and you're going to tap where it says tap here to download the on-device distribution method. Now this first link is just gathering everything you need, all the resources, and then it will refresh and you're just going to scroll down and tap right where it says tap here and you'll be redirected for a final time. On this website, you're going to tap on install now, and then you should receive a pop-up asking you to install the profile. We're going to tap on allow for that. And then another pop-up saying that the profile has downloaded. We can go ahead and close it and then go inside of the settings application. And we're going to scroll down to general. We were already inside of general to show you guys that I am on 12.4. So settings, general, profile. You should see it right here. Tap on it, followed by install install again and then you can go ahead and go to the home screen and you can launch up the on device distribution method now if you happen to get any sort of pop-up here asking you to install a vpn you're going to click accept right there first of all but if you get any sort of pop-up asking you to install a vpn just go ahead and tap on the x in the upper left hand corner that has nothing to do with jailbreaking that is just an ad for this on-device distro method. We're going to go to apps. And of course, keep in mind that we are not associated with this. Um, this is just how we're actually going to get it on device without the need of a computer. Um, so we are just providing the tutorial as well as the downloads for you guys. Now scroll down to where it says tweak box apps right there and just tap it. Then you're going to search for uncover. That's just U-N-C and then zero instead of an O of course, but it should already pop up. You can tap inside of it, and as long as you get version 3.5.0 or higher, you are good to just tap on install. So we're tapping install now, 
followed by install again. And uh, then you can go to the home screen. You can see that it is downloading and installing. We're actually going to go inside of the settings app though because we do have to trust it. So now we are inside of profile and device management. It's exactly where we were previously, just the profile section. But now because we have downloaded what is essentially a developer enterprise application, it has changed to profiles and device management. That is again, inside of settings, general, scroll down, profiles and device management. And you should see under enterprise app, something that's pretty weird, right? We just need to tap on it and then tap on trust and then trust again. This is essentially the certificate that Uncover is signed with through that on-device distribution method. Now, the way this works is it's essentially bypassing Apple's signing requirements. So it doesn't need to be on the App Store and it also doesn't need to be self-signed with the assistance of a computer. It bypasses what would have been the unsigned code execution exploit required for a jailbreak. Now we can just go ahead and open the Uncover app right there. And you can see that we're on zero out of 31. This is the first time we're opening it. We can go ahead and tap on jailbreak right there. And it should just go through and proceed with the jailbreak process. Note though, that you might have to attempt this multiple times. So we are just going to let it go this first time and see how far it gets. But if it doesn't function properly, it might actually reboot the device and or we have to reboot ourselves and attempt it again. Do not lose patience. You can see here though that it did get to two out of 31. We're going to have to try this again. It did just reboot once it's back up. We're going to launch the Uncover app and we're going to try to jailbreak again. That's because the success rate isn't always 100%. Don't lose patience, definitely keep trying and it should work. And we're going to tap on jailbreak again and then it should proceed hopefully to the root FS backup step and we will have to complete the process one more time after it gets there. But let's just see if it does first of all. Okay, so it's at two, there we go. It passed through up to 10, it was really fast. You can see here that we got a notice saying that the system snapshot has been successfully renamed and the device will now be restarted. Tap okay to that. If you see that message and you get that pop-up, then you're basically there. You just have to do it one more time for it to finish all the way through. It's just preparing that for if and when you need to roll back your device. It is essentially a safeguard and it's a good one. You basically just have to do it in theory two times, but you have to get it to work two times. So you might have to run through the jailbreak process more than twice. All right, so I actually just tried it again and it didn't work and it actually quit out of the app. I'm just going to reboot myself and that's what you're gonna to have to do if you have a failed jailbreak attempt. You just need to reboot your device and then try it again. Like I said toward the beginning, don't lose patience. This does not have a 100% success rate. Once you are jailbroken though, this is something that you're not going to have to worry about. All right, so here we are, we are back up now. I'm going to swipe over and we're going to go inside of Uncover. And now we're just going to tap on jailbreak again. And like I said before, hopefully it works this time around and uh, we are able to actually fully jailbreak the iPhone 6 here. All right, so here we go. It did get past the 10th step. Finally, now it's on 22 and moving quickly. This time it worked, guys. We are actually jailbroken. We just have to wait for the process to finish up. Like I said, you guys didn't actually see my failed attempt or two in there, but if it does fail, you just need to reboot and you just have to try again. But let it go all the way through and let the Uncover app actually quit before you attempt to reboot just in case. Now it is on 22, it's taking a while here, but I'm just going to let it play through so you guys can see approximately how long it takes. Keep in mind, this is an iPhone 6, and of course we are on iOS 12.4. But uh, yeah, guys, I'm so excited to finally be jailbroken on the latest public firmware. I can't remember how long it's been since we've had a jailbreak on the latest firmware, simply because jailbreak developers utilize exploits that were previously closed in past firmwares to actually get a new jailbreak up and going. But you can see here that it says that the jailbreak is now fully complete. So I can go ahead and tap on okay, and it's just going to respring. This looks like a reboot. It's not quite the same thing, but once it is done, we are on the lock screen again. We can press the home button, swipe over and boom. There we have Cydia, we are finally jailbroken 
on iOS 12.4. Guys, I am so pumped. Now you might be wondering, well, what's next? We have a brand new top tweets video for you. It's going to play right now at the end of this video. I'm gonna play a segment of it for you guys, kind of as a teaser. It will also be linked down below in the description and in your cards right now. Definitely check that out to know what to do after you have jailbroken, but I'm going to just take this iPhone off here and I'm going to scroll down and show you guys that Cydia does in fact confirm that this is an iPhone 7, 2, which is the identifier for an iPhone 6 running iOS 12.4 with the latest build of Cydia. How awesome is that, guys? I'm actually inside of the changes section right here and I'm going to tap on upgrade to show you that we can successfully install via Cydia. So this is just the first upgrade and I just noticed that my camera is way out of focus there, so I do apologize for that. But you can see that it did finish successfully and we can return to Cydia. Here are all the latest changes, guys. Again, super pumped to be jailbroken. Check out the tweaks that we recommend installing on iOS 12.4 right now. And until next time, this is ICU signing out. Hey, what's up guys? Just a quick video today showing you guys some of the best things you can install on the brand new Jailbreak. So you guys know what to do if you enjoy videos like these. Let's get directly into things. Tweaks and sources are located down below in this video's description. So as you guys can see, I'm using my iPhone 6S Plus, but I have all of the native iPhone XS gestures, accessing multitasking, even summoning Surrey with the power button now on this device, and this is all done with Neptune. Next up, I have the famous dark mode, entirely free with the tweak called Dune. Now it customizes the entire system UI from the dock to the folders, to the widgets, to the notifications. So the really cool thing with Neptune is once you have that installed, then you can install other iPhone 10, 10s Max tweaks like Jumper right here. So I can use that toggle right there to jump directly into the Messages app. Also on the lock screen, I have Lisa installed to give a brief overview. Just tap to get everything back and again, swipe up with Neptune to go to the home screen. And very lastly, I have the tweak called Jellyfish to give this custom time right here at the top with leave me alone, so do not disturb does not have that notification, just has that little moon icon. Now, all of these tweaks work on iOS 12.2, but I still do have a lot installed on my 10s Max, so I'm gonna go ahead and demo them on this device. Next up, we have floating dock right down here to bring the iPad style dock to the iPhone. You also have awesome gestures to go to the lock screen, to go to the control center, just like that. So along with Dune, another alternative is called Notifica to give you guys new notifications as well as colorize your widgets, colorize your notifications, and you can have these be separate and uh, they look pretty awesome all in all. Next up, we have either 13 HUD to bring the iOS 13 style volume HUD to iOS 12, or my personal favorite is called Sonos 12, which places the volume HUD indicator right here up in the top left status bar. So next up, we have Safe Shutdown. It's an awesome tweak to add more options here, but the really cool thing is, on its own, once you guys reach 5% battery, it's actually going to put your phone in an ultra low power mode state. So when you guys finally get around to plugging it in, you won't have to re-enable your jailbreak. Once your phone is charged enough, it will wake up in its jailbroken state. I just really love music tweaks, guys. We got a couple going on here. We have Sylph on the home screen to bring a smaller UI to the lock screen music controls. We also have next up two to uh, basically pick and choose what song is coming up next on your queue. Just select a song and then click.